So ICON is Optometry Times and Ophthalmology Times' first ever virtual continuing education credit certified conference in which top eye care experts will be covering a range of core optometric topics, including glaucoma, AMD, diabetes. It's chaired by Dr. Kelly Nichols, Dean of the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Optometry, and Dr. A. Paul Chaus, a diabetes eye care specialist in Tacoma, Washington, who are both here with me today. Doctors, thank you so much for joining. Um, would you do the honor of kicking us off with a few highlights from this year's agenda? What can ODs attending ICON 21 expect from the conference? So I'll start. So this is Paul Chaus. Uh, we have a great conference, a great line, lineup, a whole bunch of different topics that pertain to everybody in optometric practice. So as you mentioned, we have speakers on macular degeneration and glaucoma and diabetes, but we also have you know, experts in the area of ocular surface disease. Dr. Nichols is one of those. We're talking about new technology, new contact lens technologies that allow us to treat patients with corneal abnormalities and the like. Uh, I'm really excited because we've gotten some of the best speakers, I think, in our profession together you know, for this two-day event, and I'm very honored to present with Dr. Nichols. Both of us are actually Berkeley alumni, so I'm just gonna put that plug in for, for Cal Berkeley, so I'm thrilled about that. Yeah, <laughs> Excellent. Very exciting um, to have this conference this year, and like Paul mentioned, you know, we have a lineup that is just fantastic, and the format's a little bit different than what I think others have seen before at other meetings. Every single one of our sessions is um, interactive. There's going to be one, two, or three speakers in each area. So it's going to be kind of dynamic. And then there's a Q&A after each of those so that it's a bit more real life application of the material that they just heard in short sound bites and that can be incorporated easily into practice. So that's a little bit new. And I think a great format that our um, attendees will really appreciate about the meeting this year. And, you know, in addition to some more traditional topics, we've got diversity, equity, and inclusion. We've got a panel of like what's happening in the pipeline, both anterior and posterior seg and with um, new technology like diagnostics. So really a, a wonderful, well-rounded meeting. Excellent. And what are you both most excited about? Well, I'll say I'm just really excited about the lineup of the speakers and them. Excited to see in the format how, you know, the speakers bounce off one another, uh, share the material and are able to kind of bring it to the real world of what attendees can take to their practice, you know, the very next day. How about you, Paul? Yeah, I would agree totally with that. I think that having kind of the panel format is really useful. I think sometimes I learn when I listen to panels more from the interaction than I do to, from the didactic material. I'm excited about every subject and really I'm excited to learn things that I don't know much about. So. You know, I know a lot about diabetes, but I don't know as much about uh, anterior segment disease. So I'm thrilled to hear top experts, including yourself, Kelly, uh, you know, talk about those subjects. Likewise, I'm looking forward to learning more about the dark backside of the eye, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so let's briefly touch on some key takeaways. Uh, what are you hoping attendees will leave this event with and start putting into use in their daily practice? Boy, I really think there's going to be um, some takeaway and it's hard to predict what the pearl will be because everybody's coming with a different level of knowledge of all the topics. I mean, I think that this is a really broad ranging uh, conference. So it's not like you're going to have six hours of dry eye or anything like that. It's gonna be rapid and, and paced in a way that you'll get little nuggets here and there. And you know, the whole goal is that a little bit of everything could be incorporated, don't you agree? Totally. Yeah. So, you know, my, my hope is that attendees will be able to take a, you know, some sort of nugget of wisdom that they heretofore hadn't applied in their everyday practice and bring it right back to their offices the following week after our program concludes. Absolutely. And to anyone interested in attending ICON, we do encourage you to reserve your seat at the link I'll put in the bio. Um, just lastly, doctors, looking ahead, are there any plans for next year's meeting? Yes, we absolutely hope so. We were hoping that, you know, depending on the pandemic, we could have had a live meeting this year, but there are plans underway, I'm told, <laughs> with the powers that be to actually have a, a live conference, a kind of repeat with different topics, uh, different speakers uh, in the following year. 
Yeah, and it's going to be in December in Marco Island, Florida. So a beautiful place to have a, a time to get together. And while it's not been confirmed yet, you know, Ophthalmology Times is having a similar meeting to this. And we're hoping to have some crossover next year, which would be, I think, not the whole time crossover, but some crossover that allow for, you know, a little bit of option and maybe different points of view that we as optometrists might not normally hear. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we could develop some of that content next year. That's such a great point. I agree 100%. Doctors, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank See you. you. Soon.